So, Pablo Escobar, coming to us from Colombia. These drug lords, they buy things, big houses. It's a lot of dirty money. Mm-hmm. And he he did, he was revered and feared by the people in his life. He was loved by a lot of the uh, community around him. He used this money to build houses and community projects, and he would often be seen, well, not necessarily him, but they would pass out things that would say, this is from Pablo Escobar, this is from Pablo, this is from Mr. Escobar. It's He did a lot of charitable work that way, but he also committed thousands of murders. Well, he, he, here's a couple things that he did. All right. Pablo Escobar blew up an airplane. Full of poli- well, it had one politician on it, but full of people mm. to get one politician. Pablo Escobar, uh, <laughs> Sarah's asking if I'm sleeping with my cards now. I'm sleeping with them by me. Now, I read them the other day, <laughs> and I told you about this, but, but we'll go over this in a minute. Uh, Moon should be coming in uh, shortly. We haven't heard from her. I hope everything's okay. If she doesn't make it, then you're going to have yours truly reading cards, and I'm terrible at it. I read them the other day, Betsy. It had all the bad things. They were all (laughs) upside down. It said things like, my toe's going to fall off. Uh, It was terrible. It was was horrible reading. You can't sleep anymore. They scare me, honestly. But I'm trying to learn how. And then someone said, oh, it's not so much what the book says, it's how you feel about them. Uh, I feel this is a card. That's not a good idea to let me do that. But anyway, so so uh, yeah, Pablo, he uh, he he was crazy. You remember that fire festival? That uh, festival that the guys put together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was then they got stranded. Originally supposed to be done on one of Pablo's islands. Hmm. Now Pablo, of course, got killed, but. Uh, but he he owned islands all over the Caribbean, and on one of his resort islands was where they were supposed to have that fire festival. But wow. the cocky dudes made a commercial, mentioned Pablo Escobar's island, which was the only rule for them not to to not do, and they got kicked off, which is why they went to you know somewhere else and wrecked an economy and themselves. <laughs> Anyways, go on. So. He collected things. He did. He did. He collected things. And and when when he started building his Medellin drug cartel, um he collected things like, you know, houses and cars and drugs, obviously, lots of guns, lots of security and things like that. But he also had this obsession with exotic animals he was one of the richest people in the world at the height of his power mm-hmm. bringing in brace yourselves this is money some of us don't even understand can't fathom 70 million per day at one point so he could indulge in these kinds of obsessions and you know pensions wh- whatever you want to call them his private estate, known as Hacienda Napoles, included an entire zoo filled with elephants, antelopes, exotic birds, ostriches, and the center of today's story, hippos. Well, now Escobar died in 1993. No one was left to look after these animals, so most of them were removed and placed in other zoos all around the world or put down they they found the hippos to be of um particular interest because they were far too aggressive and too difficult to just seize and that's like the number one land based well, pond based <laughs> man killer on earth hippos kill a lot well i mean aside from like bugs and and so if you if you dig into zoos most zoos will not take full grown hippos one they're very aggressive towards one another so you can't just like introduce them into 
the other hippos. <laughs> most <laughs> most zoos can't do it like with the chickens. They go to sleep, wake <laughs> yeah. up. There's another hippo. Everything's good. Yeah, that's what you do with chickens. You just wait till they go to bed. They wake up. They have no idea. They're like bird brains. They're like, okay, now there's three of us. So they couldn't do that. And there's no hippo rescue per se <laughs> that comes and you know puts a leash on the hippo and leads them away they're vicious creatures got that, that mexican <laughs> guy that always wears cargo pants <laughs> what you must do is you must assert your dominance over the hippo <laughs> <laughs> you're talking caesar yeah that's the cat <laughs> he's the dog whisperer that's anyway, what i said so instead what they did and under the general assumption that they would, you know, soon enough die off naturally, they said, okay, you know, the climate's right, there's plenty of food and water, let's just leave them to finish out their lives. Now, this was a grave mistake, because exactly the opposite happened. Now, hordes, there's the actual verbiage, hordes of hippo are threatening Colombia's ecosystem. It's oh. a literal ticking hippo bomb. <laughs> a bombopotamus? So they're calling them the cocaine hippos. And <laughs> scientists are warning that unless the cocaine hippos are sent to join their previous owner, that their breeding is at an uncontrolled speed. And unless something is done, they will reach dangerous numbers in 20 years. So it's, uh, it's like... Uh hippo season down there now well and they probably i mean i don't think crocs can take hippos not no. full grown ones uh-uh hippos and even are, babies you got to get through the mama they're fiercely protected hippos are huge and they i mean their mouths they can eat a whole person and they don't eat them they just bite them so according to research and environmentalists right now there's about a hundred hippos these all descended from Escobar's four beasts. So they're not just hippos. They're all inbred hippos. Do we know Escobar's uh, hippos' names? <laughs> Jose, Rodriguez. Oh, man, I'm sure it was awesome names. And experts speculate that within 20 years, they could be up to 1,500 at this growth speed. 1,500 hippos? In Colombia. They probably don't have that many in Africa right now. Right. And... Africa is a, a, a substantially large place. They've also determined that just four to 500 would collapse the ecosystem because they demand a specific amount of food. So many calories. And they're just taking it. Why don't they start breeding them? I mean, talk to the guys in Chihuahua, Mexico, <laughs> and say, how did you make the Chihuahuas? You made them smaller bug eyes. Imagine teacup hippos. <laughs> Well, they're all inbred, but did you know that in Africa, 500 people die every year from hippo attacks? That's what I just said. They're deadly. They're brutes. That ain't fiends. right. But we could make teacup hippos. Tiny baby monstrous hippos. You could be walking them around. <laughs> like, like imagine a hippo normally, you know what, like, I, I, I imagine normally 1,200 pounds. Imagine a hippo that weighed 80 pounds. Oh, sounds like Moon's here. We go grab her. Yep. All right. So, anyways, Moon is here. Uh, she made it. So that was Betsy's story. Um, Pablo Escobar, interesting story, uh, historical story. I okay. Uh, I uh, served with his nephew in the army. Anyway, so uh, yes, why not? She is here, so uh, yeah, we'll see uh, what we can do to get some car dread. I'm thinking tonight, when we do, come on in, Moon. Come on in. Come have a seat right over here. Yeah. I think tonight we're going to, uh, you know, I wanted to. almost decided he was going to do tarot reading. Yeah, that would have been a disaster. <laughs> I've read my cards a few times. It's not good. It says, I didn't know cards said ass cancer. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't know things like that. Mine do, apparently. They they come out pretty shocking. Anyways, 
So everyone say hi to Moon. Moon, say hi to hi everyone. To the camera's Moon. right there, and we got your card camera right hi. here when we get to that. So how are you? I'm doing great. All right, pull that microphone on, put the headphones on. Okay. And we will oh, okay. We'll check the sounds. Okay. Go ahead and pull the microphone right up. All right. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> now the camera is right there, so right if you here. need to make oh. eye contact okay. with the subject. The loyal subjects. That's the place to do it. <laughs> anyway, so. Right there? Yep, okay. right there. That's a okay, camera. Right there. Yep. Yep. Okay. That's the it. little red light. Okay. That I means never look at it. We that, don't make, I mean, I'm always looking at Jared. Yeah, <laughs> I usually look at her. Can I offer you a drink or anything? Uh, some water would be great. Some water. Let's see if I can. Got one here for you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All right. So, we're here with Wynette. I do want to kick off, uh, or we're here with Moon. I, d I just... Respond to Wynette. She wants to have some reading done tonight, so mm -hmm. we might we could probably fit something in. Now, before we kick this off, Moon has a uh, uh, I want to think of a fancy word for this <laughs> a boutique. A boutique. There we go. <laughs> An ethereal shop. Fancy. She has a shop now. Have they changed the name of the place yet? Not yet. Still the go same. ahead and pull it in, nice and close. Oh, it's coming out of its holder. So okay. there we go. There you there go. There you go. Yeah. So they they haven't changed the name yet, but up at the uh, the old old folks' home, um, next to the old hospital, we're saying a lot of old stuff, but it's the Tooele Valley uh, Wellness and Community Center. Yes. Man, I yes. got that first try. It's a whole lot of words out of my mouth. Anyways, you go in there. Lots of locally owned shops. I mean, if you haven't been there and you're from Tooele, or if you're from Salt Lake, go in and check it out. It's it's uh it's Super really cool. it's really neat. It's it's yeah. it's really neat that we have that out here in Tooele. It is. It I is. mean, it's different. It's yeah, a place where everyone can come. They've got like a locally owned. Uh, it's. It's an eatery. Pals and Paws or something. Oh. But it's a Build-A-Bear uh -huh. that's owned by a person that you know. You know, it's, 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 you can talk to the owner lady and she also runs a cafe. Of course, you can go see Moon. They've got game shops and like a, a little, uh, thrift store, uh, homemade soaps. They've got a lady that sells, uh, uh pendulums and tarot cards and stuff moon actually teaches tarot card readings which i should have taken before i embarked on my own <laughs> and i should have been blessed by a lot of priests because it was bad it, they were all upside down <laughs> it all read doom <laughs> gloom this is not going to pan out well for you i mean the cards they said shit that cards shouldn't say it was bad. But anyways, so I do want to cover kind of one story. I just want to talk about uh, one thing before we um, before we have uh, Moon kind of take, us, take it away. You guys know who uh, Demi Lovato is? Of course. She's, she, I, I, I'm not familiar, but she's a singer, right? Mm -hmm. She's like a... a a singer lady she I don't sings know who pop she is. music yeah. <laughs> she's very famous super beautiful probably a lizard queen but well whatever this <laughs> they all are <laughs> this lizard queen <laughs> is a uh is a ufo uh contactee of course this is Demi Lovato's Instagram that I am about to play for those watching, and I will talk the listeners through it. She's come out and said this? Yes, this is off of hers. Okay, so she says she went out to Joshua Tree with a group of loved ones. Uh, it's a lizard party. You know, they go out there and molt, whatever <laughs> lizards do, lick the <laughs> air. So um, she's out there, and then they're watching the sky, and there is... Uh, on her recording, a visible red light that's kind of cruising around up in the sky. And uh, 
And so she's uh, recording it. But Demi Lovato has said in the past that she has uh, chatted with uh, uh, aliens. And they go out there while they're molting and they meditate to uh, to meet um, E.T. So, so that's what I have to do. I have to go to Joshua Tree and meditate. <laughs> what about that hippie yeah, wonderland? I, sh- I should... I should write, write this down. down. <laughs> what about that hippie wonderland you guys went to? Um, uh, uh, what's the place called you and Holly went to? Hippie, that's not a hippie wonderland. We went on a retreat in Arizona. To where? Sedona. Uh. Hippie wonderland. That's what I heard. You it's may say something else, but hey, man. <laughs> no, it's the ley lines oh. all connect there, and it creates this specific type of energy. Oh, okay. So, (laughs) all the hippies going there to do their hippie stuff. Not hippie wonderland. I stand corrected, everyone. But anyways, go to Demi Lovato's uh, Instagram page. And uh, you can watch her uh, film this this red light. It's it's pretty awesome. I will... um, I'll go ahead and turn it on for a second for people to watch. But yeah, you can watch her... uh, it looks like there's green flashes, like almost aurora borealis happening there. How would it be? If if there's aurora bo- borealis there, um, I'm going to Joshua Tree now. Because I do really want to see aurora borealis. But if, if you yeah. if you watch the video, there's these flashes of yeah, flashes green of light green coming across. Um, it's, you know, and, and the, the little red uh, light is moving left to right. And... Uh, She's got it in slow motion. She's trying to track it pretty well, but it does make you almost a little bit nauseous if you watch it too many times. But, you know, pretty cool. You know, Demi Lovato. Uh, uh, Demi Lovato, known for singing, not camera skills. I wouldn't know her if I saw her or knew her music, but I'm sure I've heard it. I just don't pay attention to who does what. Mm-hmm. But uh, she's a, she's an alien contactee. That's huh? awesome. What do you think about aliens, Moon? Let's get the, the <laughs> inside scoop. Right out the gate. Well, definitely, we're not the only life form here on the universe. It's almost like we can't be, right? Right. I mean, It's absurd to think we are. It is. It is. How completely egocentric of us to believe <laughs> that we are the only life form. It would be... Uh, Humans. It would be shocking if we were. There's just... Yeah too it's too vast but the question is are they visiting us they are (laughs) you think they're here like like all right i've been letting my kegel foo game drop lately it's coming back i'm gonna start a regimen focus i'm gonna write a book (laughs) i'm gonna we're gonna gonna film the commercial i'm gonna do jet kegel foo dough (laughs) Uh, i've got to get it back i've got to do it but yes, Soul Moon, how'd you get it? Uh, you've told us before how you got into uh, how you got into cards, but let's do a, a refresher just for anyone who hasn't heard this before. How'd you, how'd you get into reading tarot cards? Well, or it's tarot. Tarot. Or... Tarot. Yeah. Tarot Is it French? Cards. Is that why they throw a consonant in there I'm not supposed to use? I don't I'm know where. I'm not sure where, they're, where they actually originated from, but they theorize it's like Egypt or somewhere in that time frame and okay that place a lot of the a lot of the imagery started or a lot of decks still use a lot of Egyptian imagery so hmm. did Egyptians have a lot of trouble with ass cancer well I don't know if it had developed or if they just didn't know. Because my cards. Oh, Sarah says Italy. Italy. Ah, So by tarot card. uh, Well, I can't really do it because tarot, the first T, but Italy has a T kind of. So it would be Italy. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Italy, they did like the royalty. Only royalty could get the cards in Italy. Pull the they mic were in a little painted. bit. They were hand painted. Pull the mic in a well. little bit closer. Oh, okay. Fair. There. Okay, so they were hand painted in Italy and only royalty could get them. I want a set of hand painted. Oh, that would be cards. amazing. Yeah. I, hey, I'll tell you what, that'd be awesome. 
That would be so cool. I wouldn't use them, though. I wouldn't shuffle no. them. <laughs> Don't <laughs> touch <laughs> them. They would be like in a special case, a little glass box, some lights on them. Um, I'm thinking like maybe a ninja and and the guy off the Pink Panther to protect it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Stand and watch all the time. No days off. <laughs> Your slave driver uh, for a hand paint because there's a lot of cards in a deck 78 yeah yeah so outside of tarot what else do you do do you use a pendulum mm, i have a pendulum i have a crystal ball they're all about the same but i just love the artwork and i love looking at the cards i love the cards. a crystal so. ball hang on a second oh, i should have brought it how does that work intuition it's difficult yeah it's all your intuition all of it is it's just the tool you choose to so is it, it like out. scrying kind of yes like scrying okay yeah. so do you look into it like they always say look into the crystal ball. <laughs> you look into it yes do you see clouds and such while you do it well what is and then at some point you of? close your eyes and then images pop into your head what's yours made of mine is what is it it is smoky quartz Ooh. That's awesome. How big is it? Is it like the movies? Like this big. No, it's not. It's it's this big. It's, oh, it's so you could have carried it. I could have brought it. So like if you had one like off the movies, you know, rolling it down the street because it's too heavy. <laughs> to Real little heavy. Look yeah. into my crystal ball. <laughs> it jumps off a curb, wrecks a car. <laughs> you got to apologize, leave a note. <laughs> <laughs> my crystal ball rolled That's away from me <laughs> and smashed into your car. <laughs> Sorry about the bumper. <laughs> we were trading That's paint. That's interesting. I've never been any, met anybody who has used a crystal ball. I have actually seen her crystal ball. Now, we I went into... what what When was I born the time? I can't remember. Really? Yeah. Our family history scribe? I can't, we're in trouble. You've got a big sheet, a big rollout sheet somewhere that I think says it on it. Really? Yeah, I think so. On that family tree mm-hmm. thing we got? Mm-hmm. It hmm. might. It over, uh, it's somewhere. <laughs> it, it, oh, it's in the closet. Anyway, so um, she did this thing on this, and it had lines that went into a circle, and it told me kind of all sorts of stuff. Now you it used a f- a uh, drawing thing. Well, she it was on. I, it was I on have an phone. app. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, it's an astrology chart. Okay, so I want to check that out too. Did you want to pull yes, your astrology? Yes, I yes. want you to see. Okay. Yes, now. People, if you want your if you want your card read, I think for time and everything else, we'll just do like one card kind of tonight. Oh yeah, that's that'd a be, great idea. That'd be quicker. But if you want it done, throw your name in the comments and all that. If you don't get your stuff in before the show's over tonight, um, go see Moon up yeah. at her shop. She's a fantastic. She teaches classes. She does all that, so you can jump in there and uh, get on top of that. So when you're teaching these classes, how much do you rely on the the provided information and how much do you how much do you rely on your own intuition and knowledge? Well, it is really all intuition and what the symbols say to you when you see them. So I really one of the first things I tell anyone that wants to learn is to connect with the pictures and the artwork and see what they're saying to you. Mm. Okay. Then yes. Does upside down make everything worse? Like even in your intuition. Not worse, just opposite. It makes some of the cards better. I would like a bad card drawn upside down, please. Thank you. <laughs> Not all the cards upside down. I'm telling you, it was horrible. I read mine. I'm crying on the couch. <laughs> you know, I tapped it three times. Asked the angels and. Who else am I supposed to? The guardian, uh, guardian. guardians and your angels. Yeah, I asked those people. They didn't show up. <laughs> no. I burned. Are a, you sure? There was some. Sa- I'm, I'm guessing Moon. that his intuition is broken. <laughs> and so I talked to Sarah about it. And Sarah's like, you got to sleep with them. And you got to like really get in harmony with them. And, and I was you, like. Have you got one tucked underneath your shirt right now? <laughs> Not under my shirt. We don't need to get into it. But if you get the Ten of Cups, wash your hands. <laughs> if I'm ever using your deck, 
Don't want to get pink eye. (laughs) (laughs) Don't get it under your nail. What's your birth date? January 20th, 77. Tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday. I know. Tomorrow. My sister is going to be, uh, what is it, 44. 44 tomorrow. Yes. Okay, what time of day were you born? About 8.20 in the morning. 8.20. I'm wondering, should we show... A little picture of um, what we've got going on here while we do this. I think I will put it on the screen. Misty would like a reading. Yes, Misty and Wynette so far. Well, you Where were you born? Right here in Tooele. As a matter of fact, in the hospital. In the hospital. Yeah, mm-hmm. same doctor. We were down the hallway from you, and I think to the left back then is where children were uh, pulled out. Yep, Dr. Johnson delivered mm-hmm. us both. And our father. And our father. Oh, wow. Yes, he was an awesome dude, though. I like Dr. Johnson. Okay. Ooh. Oh, you're a triple Aquarius. I've never seen this before. So what does that mean? What, what does, does that, that do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, triple the fun on the Aquarius scale. <laughs> um... Your sun is in Aquarius, your moon is in Aquarius, and your rising is in Aquarius. So there's a lot happening in Aquarius right now, this year. As in 2020 or 2021? Well, it started in 2020, and now it's rolling on in 2021. That would explain I am a chaotic mess for like the last probably eight months. (laughs) Yeah, that would explain it, definitely. Oh, your moon is in Aquarius in your first house. So that, like, gives you... Do you remember the first time I met you, I said you, you have beautiful eyes? Uh-huh. So that gives you your striking look. Like, you make a presence when you walk into a room. Oh. People notice you. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Um. Okay, first house... Your Venus is in Pisces, so you're very sacrificing in love. Okay, I would agree with that. Um, Also, that's in your first house. So this would give you like um, maybe hidden things, things you don't like to talk about with like business and finances and um, love. It could be. Okay. With Venus and Pisces. Not always, but. Uh, Let's see. Is there anything about when she makes uh, jalapeno poppers, she can't touch her face for like two weeks? (laughs) I doubt that's in there, but that is true as well. (laughs) She complained about it for the, the, uh, honestly. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Well, your son is in the 12th house, too. So, and okay, so the 12th house is Pisces. So it's like you like to shine, but you don't like to stick out. Amen. But at the same time, you do because your moon is in Aquarius in your first house. I'm, I've got a split personality when yes. it comes to that. Yeah. Like people will say, would you lead this? And I'm like, absolutely. And then the day of, I'm like, why did I agree to this? <laughs> I don't want to be here. I don't want to put myself out like this. <laughs> but I I agree immediately. Like, yeah, yeah, I'll totally do that. Mm. What was, what, uh, I was a Sagittarius, Scorpio, something. I can't remember. There was a lot of stuff. The 21st was my day. Was it the 21st? I think it was the 21st. When she read to me, when they, and see, I don't know if the people can see that, but she, she, if you can see, okay, it's a circle that has a bunch of colored lines on it, and I don't know how she reads it. She's she she deciphers this literally. She's got it's crazy that she can read it, but yes, Kendra says Moon is the best. Oh, hey, Kendra. Hi, Kendra. <laughs> so is there anything that I need to know about myself? Should you watch given out? Given that I'm a triple Aquarian? No, you, you're someone who wants to save the world, but you want your alone time, and you need to be alone. <laughs> so, that is me. 
Gosh, dang it. I am yeah. a hermit uh-huh. um, humanitarian. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> That's what I got when she was over here last time, the hermit card. Yeah. Remember that? I do Like that, that was my, <laughs> I can't remember. There was a, another circle and a lot of cards came out. And yes. That's awesome. Sarah says, oh, are you a Scorpio sag cusper? What's a cusper? Yes, I am on the cusp, right? Well, yeah, 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 you're I, on the cusp. Sarah asked if I'm a Scorpio sag cusper. Are you, you you're, you're, uh, that was me. I think I was a, a I was, uh, man, I wish I'd have recorded you telling me this stuff. <laughs> Not smart no, enough. let's see. So your chart. Anyways, let's let's. We can get. Oh, you you've got mine saved. We, yeah, I have. Yeah, I have everyone's chart. Really? Mm-hmm. You just pull. You, wow. So she, you're like uh, seeing a doctor. Yes. Like you're, I you pull everyone's pull chart when they come in. Seriously, when we're doing cards. You're at the stars. Hang we'll on. Let me see the, the last chart. time we'll you see it. Yeah. <laughs> Are like, we breaking? Let's HIPAA? see where your moon is at. Why you're feeling this way. <laughs> <sighs> my moon is next to that ten of cups yes but anyways yes, the summer 11th right yes okay so your sun is sag moon is pisces and your rising is scorpio see i am a Sag Pike Scorp. What does that say about him? That, well... He can dance real well. You know... Forget (laughs) about the singing. (laughs) Talented. (laughs) You like to investigate and research, and that's your Scorpio. They like to dig deep, find out facts. um, Geek out. Paranormal. Ask him anything... Anything about history? Anything? Just Not any. Oh, anything. Yeah. Literally, he's he's like a vault of of useless information. Useless information. <laughs> 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 okay, so your moon in Pisces gives you. Um, what does the moon do in the rising? What does those mean? Well, rising is who you really are who you come across when you're out amongst people who the who you show to the world who you show to the world okay and the, and my rising is a scorpio yes okay so, so you're a... like very scorpio to the rest of the world uh what well, okay what is that like uh no you know what do you feel like sometimes <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging on every word here. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> uh, like uh, you, s- sometimes you sit back and you just kind of watch and you see what's going on uh-huh. before yeah. you start interacting. And um, other people are, are probably like, "What is he doing?" You mean creeping? Like, <laughs> you mean when I'm outside other people's windows, just? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the moon is like your emotions and also your intuition, which moon and Pisces gives you a really, really good intuition. Um, and then Sagittarius, you like to travel. Mm-hmm. Um, and I keep telling you, you are spiritual. <laughs> <laughs> He's not accepted it yet. <laughs> we won't accept I it. <laughs> am a minister. <laughs> He oh, is. There you go. <laughs> that is a form of spirituality, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you do this. What is this called? This is, um, well, I read tarot first and foremost, but I, I am just getting into astrology, and I know enough to really help a lot with the 12 house spread that I do. Um, but this is astrology reading. This I'm reading a chart. There's so much into it. It, it. You could go over the, all the information in like hours. It takes hours. Different aspects. Really? So it's like really like picking someone apart, like breaking them down, spreading Legos all over the floor. If dad comes in, he's limping out, all that. Yes. Okay. And anytime someone comes to see you, you always pull their chart just so that you can kind of get an idea of who they are. 
in their three houses. Yeah, if they would like me to, and we have time in the reading, I do. I pull charts. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. I will, I really want to study astrology, but again, I'm a humanitarian hermit. <laughs> 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 Things just don't get done. Go back down to Sedona where <laughs> the hippie lines come together and say, hey, man, put the patchouli <laughs> on and spend a weekend. So... The tarot we wanted to do tonight before we do some individual readings. Yes, yeah, so Jared I had a couple of questions. I've got two questions, all right? Okay. So we'll start off with one. And then Maybe we'll do a some, one card draw for each. Just a one okay. card draw for each. Just okay. a quick and uh and then we'll do the individual readings, then we'll finish off with another. Mm-hmm. And I'm wondering which one to go first. Oh boy, this is tough. End of the world stuff first. End of the world. Okay. Moon. Oh, that's a cool. You, see, you got them in a cool little, yeah. little cheetah. No, and you got rock. What do the rocks do? They are protection, courage, and protection. Tiger's eye, and Lukite for intuition. Lukite does a lot of of different things. I forget, but it's mainly for a connection. My intuition. So they're charging your cards, so to speak. Yes. Yes. Mm, oh, do I? Would that help my cards if I put? <laughs> it would help your cards. Yes. Get some. Okay. Some uh, nice I'm gonna go see stones, that. Nice crystal. What's that shop? Wolf. Uh, Waking Wolf. Waking Wolf. I'm gonna go down and see her. She sells rocks. I want to buy. She's got one. It's the meteorite stuff. Mm-hmm. I want. I want one of those because I mean. You know, for its coolness, yeah, for the dinosaurs, the come Star on. Wars stuff. Got no, it. for the dinosaurs. Well, I mean, come on, the destruction of I'm the a, dinosaurs. I'm eight at heart. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. An eight year old boy. <laughs> I know. Seriously, <laughs> motorcycle, trucks, dinosaurs. That's it. Anyway, so okay, is the world gonna make it? Not the world, or or this the nation? Oh, well, the world. I, are we gonna survive tomorrow? Let's see. Oh, boy. Now, that's a lot of intent. I know this is a big one. Your fingers might be tingling right now. And she does have the coolest cards. You'll see them when she lays it out. Her cards are like gold in, like they're beautiful Egyptian. And 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 so it's it, they're shiny because it's like. Ooh. Oh, well, it's right side up. Ooh. That's it's right side, side up, up, right? Okay. Yes. <sighs> There's going to be. A lot of chaos and confusion. Okay, do go on. This, that, that's what I see in this card. It's a seven. Sevens are kind of rough. Also mystical. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. I would say I agree with that. It so will that's be the seven of cups? Seven of cups. All right, show the card up. Let's see if we can get it to show real uh, pleasantly on the screen. Now, you see how now her cards... Mm-hmm. Have been used quite a bit. It takes just a second for uh, to catch up. But y- here, you'll be able to see it better there. There you go. But you see how they're gold inlaid. They're quite beautiful. Oh. Yes, yeah, so. Chaos and confusion. So tomorrow's okay. chaos and confusion. So same as yesterday and, we- and this last, last week. Year. And yeah, the whole I year. watched. That's true. <laughs> I watched Tiger King. It started with him. I believe he was the. Do you think it was him or that? Carol, Carol Baskin killed her husband, <laughs> whacked him. Oh, man. <laughs> Can you believe that woman? All right, so we're going to be doing some card readings of the people. <gasps> and we'll also do a single card reading. Now, they don't have to be present, correct? Correct. All right, so I think uh, Wynette was the first one to ask, uh, you know, are you reading cards? And uh, humana humana. So, uh, I think, uh, Wynette, what would you like read? So, let's do a single. So, be, be, while we wait for her to message us. Um, Misty as well. Let us know. Misty, Wynette, and Sarah wants her read. And there, so, right now, just start sending messages on what you want us to ask the question of. But I would like to have Betsy a single card right now of her question. I have a question. <laughs> I think of one. Get on it. Oh boy. Okay. Um go. 
let's talk. I don't know. What's a good one card question for me or just for you? Yes. A Betsy question. A Betsy question. Mm. Health. Health. Yep. Okay. My health. What does the foreseeable future bring for my health? And I'm going to put a time frame on it. The next three months? Yeah. Let's go next three months. Yeah. Three months. Three of cups. I mean, it's looking good. All right. Like, are you having stomach issues or something? Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, it's probably like, is it stress? Is That's what I was wondering. What? It's. It's appearing on my skin now. It's moved oh. from stomach issues to hives to... Ooh, and heavy. as of late, I've been like, hmm, I wonder what this is. But like I said, it's been a chaotic, absolute chaotic last eight months. Yeah. And it's uh. my son's four-year death anniversary next week. It's been a chaotic and four so, years. So... It's like this giant wave that comes every year and it washes ashore and it kind of takes me with it. And then I clamor to find my sea lakes again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's that time of year. So I was just wondering, is it something like serious or, you know, maybe go get it checked out? Well, yeah, definitely <laughs> go get it checked out. <laughs> but it does look like you have stomach issues and it, it could be hormones. It could. This was like watery, this emotions. It could be emotional and it can be stress. Very good. Okay. Thank All you. right. Okay. So there was Betsy's got a little bit of that. So uh, I didn't get Wynette on here. Um, I, I don't know if we can we just do a general reading for her? a she, single card. Yeah. Just a. Let's do Giselle would like one too. Yeah. Giselle, Misty, Wynette. Sarah actually has a question. Sarah wants to know. Um, Sarah has a. If I can find it here, uh, she she has a another group, and she wants to know if uh, her group is Hidden Realms, and she wants to know will it continue to be successful and grow? That's Hidden Realms Paranormal. Sarah's going to be in here with us next week. Uh, Ghost Hunter Mediumship. It's really go check it out if you like this stuff. Go check out her uh, her group there. They're wonderful people. It's a it's a gaggle of wonderful people, and they do a lot of interesting stuff all the time. But Sarah wants to know: uh, Will Hidden Realms continue to be successful and grow? And if I have anything to say about it, yes, it will, because I want to plug it all the time. <laughs> Jared's answering that. Something. All right, where are we going next? Ooh, it looks like yes, it's successful. You're going to be busy. This is the emperor. Oh. And Sarah, Sarah, this is a female emperor. Oh, Usually the, the emperor is the charge. Male. Uh-huh. The so. empress. Mm-hmm. Well, it's the mm-hmm. emperor though. Oh my goodness. Female emperor. So that that means like uh, there's a, going to be a lot of action. A lot of action. Good, good. All Especially right. Especially if um, all these released documents prove to be true that aliens have made contact and they're going to be contacting us more. <laughs> Think about Maybe. that. Yes, it's it's coming. It's com- okay. Giselle has a question. Giselle's ca- question is a heavy one. Okay. Is my cancer coming back? Like in the next. Three months, well, sh- year. I think we should throw um, we should throw a year on it with uh, within the next year. Yeah, let's throw a year on it. And Giselle, um, I suggest you go in and visit Moon, uh, and she's an awesome lady, and, and her her boutique is really uh, uh, she's got it decorated, so it looks like you walk into a gypsy boutique. Okay. It may. 
Oh, it's a heavy one. So that's the five of... Five uh, of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. There's a heavy worry there, too. Like she's very, very concerned and worried about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cancer's no joke. It no. is. It, no. it is no joke. Yeah, she she uh, confirmed one year. So um, stay on top of that, right. Giselle. Um, Misty wants to know about finances. Misty finances. Yeah. Yes, Misty wants to know about finances. Winky tongue out face. Over the yeah. next three months? Uh, let's go. Misty, what do you think? Uh, go a year on that one? Or six months on six that months. one. Six months. Let's, let's go six months because uh, finances sometimes months. take a minute to pull together. Yeah. Look at those shuffling skills. You could be out in Vegas right now with those skills, especially <laughs> shuffling tarot cards. Oh. Oh, wow. Are you looking for a new job or does she need a job? Anyway, it looks yes. like finances, which she will... She is looking for the new job. Yeah. She, uh -huh. Yeah. This is, she will find work and she will do much better financially. Within Ooh, the good. Next, like, six good. Misty's taking me to lunch. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, Misty. You got it. You're going to find a new job. All right, Outstanding. Jared, your one card draw. My one card draw. It, it needs to be relationships. Why? Why does it have to be that? I want to <laughs> ask. She just started her job yesterday. Misty did. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. What are you doing, yeah. Misty? Un unless you don't want to plug it out there on the world. Good job. When I start my OnlyFans next week, will it take off? <laughs> that is not a question because you have no intention of doing that. I already told you what I'm going to do. Oh, geez. When you start your... When you start your what? My OnlyFans. Your OnlyFans. Will it take off? Okay. What I'm gonna do? No, I shouldn't tell everyone. No, I let's let's do a serious question. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um. All right. I don't want a relationship one. I did that already last year. Not, not at your own free will. Your guides <laughs> determined you needed to talk about that. My guides say I need to talk about that. Remember, you had your tarot reading done, and you asked about your job change. Oh, yeah. And the second card she pulled, she said, well, your guides would rather talk about relationships. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do okay. I do I avoid the hammer yet, an, yet another year? Okay. What does Jared's year focus look like as relationships go? Watch it be like the hanged man or something. Misty says, Jared, don't you dare let my secret out. <laughs> Is it the foot thing? <gasps> okay. Well, if you do get into a relationship, it might be a bit unfulfilling. I mean... Shh. Shocker. <laughs> okay, well. That's funny. <sighs> Ta-da. <laughs> we think his picker's broken, but we've yet, we've yet to find a service repairman to, I, to properly think, diagnose I think, his picker. I think the hammer, the <laughs> mallet required for that one. All right, so. Um, did Wynette jump in? Amber, do you want a card read? We got Amber, Misty, Giselle. I stay on top of it. Again, everyone, go up to the go up to the uh, Tooele Valley uh, Wellness and Community Center and check it out. Sarah, when you come out, come out early. We got to hang that picture. We'll take a drive up there. We'll go check it out. You'll love the place. It's it's just really awesome. Kendra, do you want a card read? In and while we're waiting for for more people to, you know, yes. let us know if they want them, tell us about your class. How often do you yeah, do it? Yeah, how do you do your class? Well, I haven't done any um, large classes since, you know, yeah, the Rona. No. <laughs> and now you could probably do like a Zoom setup, maybe, maybe if you would like. I mean, we've got the stuff here. You could host a class from here. 
Well, I do do um, private classes, like one to two people. Like That's you go I'm over to doing. their house and, uh, or do they, they come, come into my studio? They come to your boutique. Oh, mm-hmm. studio! I like is studio too like modern for a tarot reader. I, I'm trying to think. What would a gypsy call their their little place? Um, their caravan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, how does what does a tarot class? look like what what can you expect when you sign up for them it is a beginner class and we go over well tarot all the meetings of the cards and i teach how to connect with each symbol we talk about the symbols we talk about numerology and a little bit of astrology is in there um but by the end of class which is they're about two hours long once a week for four weeks Mm. And by the end of the class, you should be able to read a one, like a three card spread. Oh, at least. And we will have the contact information um, for Moon and all that stuff. We'll have that in the show notes and we'll share it on our Facebook. So if you want to get in contact with her and do intro into tarot, I don't know why Moon is teaching a class to put herself out of work. Don't understand that. (laughs) If I had a marketable skill, I, I would make it, it to no I would one. make it mysterious. <laughs> like I would go in like like let's say I'm a plumber. Smoke bomb. I go in, in the smoke, fix it, come out magic. They don't know what I've done. They didn't get to see it. They think it's magic. They're in awe. It's like the Maytag commercial. Uh, they have nothing to do. <laughs> Kendra says she just had hers done. Moon, you were spot on. She's golden right now. But oh, good. Yes. Yeah, so. And Amber would like her cards read, and she wants to do three months and talk about housing situation. Yes. Housing. Yes. In Will her housing months. situation fall into place in the next three months? Kendra's just afraid of a live on air reading. <laughs> I get it. It's okay. I was nervous the first time. <laughs> Especially when the guides come out and said, oh, you want that. It looks like this will definitely happen in the next three months for you. It's a partnership. Is there someone she's going to live with or something? A couple of someones. Yeah. Her her adult children are, you know. Okay. (laughs) And it's a partnership with them, you think? It looks like with somebody else. Okay. So could be children. Okay. Okay. Partnership, Amber. All right. But it, that's yes, the lovers. That's the, that's very good positive energy. Okay. Misty wants a relationship one. Misty. Relationship, relationship one. Are you talking this year, six months? Let's do six months relationship. Six one. months relationship. You're on a clock. Oh. I would be so nervous if we'd have went six months on me. We went in a year, right? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Give me time. My it would be un- a year to be unfulfilled. <laughs> do I got Do I got parole for a minute? <laughs> but you can change that by choices you make. And that yeah. can be changed. It's not set in stone. <laughs> Practice running. Ooh. Is, did Misty just finish up one? Yeah. Uh, well, yes. I mean, in the last, like, uh, I don't know, like three months. So, okay. yeah. Oh, Woo. so there may be two people she has to choose from in a relationship. This uh, looks very positive that she'll be at least thinking about Misty's who to a, be in a relationship in with. In a menage a three. <laughs> <laughs> Misty. All right. Good, good. All right. David has a big one. This one's huge. David is, is thinking about selling his business. Shocking news. Is it the right thing to do, and would it sell soon? Mm-mm-mm. That is shocking news, David. But I don't want her to answer this, David, because we don't want you to sell your business. <laughs> Tell him it would be terrible, and he shouldn't do it. <laughs> Oh, Misty wants you to tell her more. Tell her more about what? You're in a menage a three. You got to pick the dude, or or pick your your humming humming. You're going up. to have to be choosing. Oh. I just pulled the same card. 
I mean, this does look like a positive direction for you. For David. Mm -hmm. David. And it does look like it well fell. Oh. Damn it. There's something else okay. he's doing? Uh, we hope not, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> we want him stuck. No, no David... <laughs> David has a uh, David owns five star auto. Very successful. And well, it's dependable business. Yeah, uh, it, they do it's a great a, job. A, when you're when you get a mechanic, it's tough to find good mechanics. Yes. you know. So, but if he sells it, um, it will sell, David. It, it <laughs> would definitely sell, and I just hope. And does it show that that whatever he's going to next will be equitable? Or yes, that's why I pulled another card because yes, it's time to move on. It's like yeah. a, a growth, like he's grown a lot through this, and it's time for his next chapter. Take it somewhere else, some other business. Is he going to buy another business? Blue singer, David. Blue singer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It's it's the six of wands is definitely the right direction. Ooh, maybe okay. two stroke could spark movement it back up. too. There's movement. Mm. There you go. Is he awesome. moving? Mm. Uh, we don't know. Mm. I don't know the exacts on that. Um, uh, but I just hope that if he does, whoever buys it is as honest as he has been with yeah with the city. I mean, he's he's been very honest. Well, it looks like people look up to him. Six of Wands. That's like people look up to him. They Misty, really like him. Misty says two girlfriends and a boyfriend. That's a menage a four. Uh, Misty <laughs> has two girlfriends and a boyfriend. <laughs> we don't know if she's kidding or not because her and Jared have this secret language. <laughs> well, I don't have any secret language with anyone. So uh, does that mean that... Should she narrow them down kind of one at a time or just really kind of all in? People are now saying, wait till I get my car in there, David. I know. Yeah, <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> yeah Kendra said that. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we've had a few love questions. Yes. And we're coming into the season of love with Valentine's mm -hmm. Day quick around the corner. Oh, David said, thank you for the kind words. I feel the same way. You're spot on. I feel it's time. Yes, it's time. And David, uh, you know, you don't have to let us know what you're going to embark on next, but uh, I hope to find out. And, it will uh, be successful. It will. Whatever David's, it is. David's a sharp cat. Yeah, he's a straight shooting guy. So so just a general overall. Uh, okay, we've come through a year that has been a swift kick <laughs> right in the ass. <laughs> How's like, like this next year on uh, on loving for the for the uh, whoever? Just like a general overall, does that change? Is it the same all the yeah. time? Yeah, is there a way to pull a card just for the year? Like, like a general year of love? Is it is it going to be like a okay? Like and and it doesn't have to be only romantic. I mean, it's just like, like well. We get like along. peace, prosperity, peace. love, like worldwide. I want the whole world in on, it. especially like, like Nigeria and and those places. Mm. I don't know what's going on there, but that's kind of a cool word. Oh, and uh, and before we let you go, Lindsay, yes, you can get a reading while she pulls the love of the world card out. What's your question? Oh my gosh, we got the two of cups. And okay. it's right side oh, yeah. up. <laughs> now I would, I've got to say something. So strange. Every card has been right side up tonight. How did you pull that off? I shuffle, so Magic. I don't get reversals. So when I do get reversals, and I do sometimes, I pay, it's like the card of the reading, the thing I pay the most attention to, and it's usually very important. So this card, as far as like but love and world goes, what does this card symbolize? This getting along, peace, partnerships. I mean, maybe there's going to be some countries that make partnerships and get along and have peace. But then at the bottom mm -hmm. of the deck, we also have Pisces. This is um, love. Pisces is all about sacrifice and love. Um, peacefulness, too. This is the Page of Cups. Mm -mm -mm. So, some parts of the world may get along. That's awesome. I some, can't wait. Some parts. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> please let it be here. Yes. <laughs> oh, please let it be here. Oh, goodness. All right. So now, 
before we cut you loose and uh, let you off the hook. Lindsay, love life for this year is her question. Lindsay okay. wants some love life. Oh, Taryn wants to know when will Jared have a grandchild? So that's my boy's love life we got to ask about. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably not watching, and I will make sure he sees this later. We'll ask that next, Taryn. First, we got to get Lindsay sorted out. Lindsay. Oh. I've okay, never seen this car. Oh, yeah. It look. looks like there's someone coming for you. Uh oh. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so that's a that's a card that signifies that, yes, there. There's a man coming for her. Look at that. Oh. Oh. In a chariot. So, so that's a seven of. Uh, of so it's the chariot. Oh, it's, it's the a major chariot. arcana. Oh. You'll see him coming, Lindsay. Lindsay. He will be in a chariot. <laughs> <laughs> Two birds. You will have you will hear he may a horse. Have birds. He may okay. have birds. Okay. All right. <laughs> she, she meets a dude that has like five <laughs> parakeets or something. <laughs> what are the birds that talk uh 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 macaws and uh what's the big one? God dang. I don't know. My mind lost. But the ones that talk. I don't like birds. They have knuckly toes. <laughs> and they peck your cheek. <laughs> and they peck your cheek. This yes, is a life lesson. He's coming for you. And he's going to have a chariot and he, you're going to hear a horse. <laughs> <laughs> and then the bottom of the deck was a man also. Oh, the horse. The, this, is, this is the Knight of Wands. That's, the, that's a horse pulling yeah. a chariot. Yeah. <laughs> Dude's going to have horses and birds. <laughs> It's a hell of a combination, Lindsay. You will not miss him. No, (laughs) you don't see him coming. Yes. Yes. Okay, so. Let's do the last one of the night. Yes, last one of the night. Let's Uh, talk grandchildren for Jared. But we better do like a two-year span on this one. I mean, it takes nine months at least to brew one of them. Yeah. The baking process. The baking, yes. You got to let them rise. (laughs) Cover them with a towel. (laughs) Don't beat them on the table too hard. Oh, well, possibly not. Does she want to have? There isn't a they? she yet. Just a him, but I want grass. Oh, oh, <laughs> maybe that's why. Yeah, <laughs> he all needs right. to meet her first. Okay, so there you have out. it. I'm gonna start kicking him. <laughs> Out of the house every night. <laughs> <laughs> Go find. Go somewhere and do something. You're not going to find a woman sitting in my basement watching movies <laughs> and and playing That's games. That's not where and... they are, Alex. Yes. I'm going to no. send him to church. Okay, so the cards say... Send him to church. The cards say, well, he's got to find a girl first, yeah. Jared. Mm. All right, man. Yeah, we all figured that. Well, uh, yeah. So any ladies out there... <laughs> who are uh, looking for a young man, age of twenty six? He's fairly tall, like six foot one, two. You know, big guy. Uh, Greatest guy you'll ever meet. Uh, very kind, sweet, humma humma, treat you like gold. If you are in the market, <laughs> and this has uh, now become the Tinder no, of the podcast world. <laughs> Swipe no, right. <laughs> no drug problems or uh and uh don't be one of them uh, spouse be- abusing types that beat their husband with a rolling pin, uh, <laughs> you know. Well, lightly. Okay, lightly. I can settle for lightly on my command. It, I'm all about it. Anyways, but yeah, thanks for joining us tonight everyone. I didn't get to some other news. Should we uh Well, before we quit with with Moon, tell us um, do you have, how often do you, do you do tarot readings? How do they get in contact with you? Do you have yeah, a website? Yeah. I have a Facebook page. It's Moonspell Tarot Readings. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I basically schedule my hours around my appointments. So I'm usually in. So they could message you there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. I, if you can't find it, anything else. Come to us. Just send, shoot us a message. I will send you a link. It'll be in the show notes if you want to contact she's her. She's crazy accurate. And uh, she's one of the greatest people you'll go see anyway. She's just a very nice Thank person. You. I do have a new story, Betsy. Okay. A while back, we talked about oh, uh, no. Yuri Tolo Chico. Tolo That's not a real Tolochko. person. All right. So, 
old Yuri. Remember Yuri had that uh, <clears throat> that wedding. So Yuri is a. Uh, is he divorcing her already? No, 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 no. <laughs> Yuri is. Uh, he had this lavish wedding for his uh, his uh, uh, doll. Oh, that that is a person. Yeah, that's a doll. He he had a lavish like people were there and everything else. So <sighs> right before Christmas, um, how Yuri, did she walk down the aisle? Drug, I think is the <laughs> word. Um, she got broke, so she had to go into the shop. I didn't he, know there were sex doll shops. I don't he know. He broke it, his wife. Yeah, it's like a garage. You go in, haggle with the mechanic. I don't know how that works, David. But he broke her. <laughs> so there's your next opportunity, <laughs> sex doll repair guy. Anyways, so Yuri, while she's in the shop, he got lonely. No, so he cheated on Yuri his plastic doll. <laughs> cheated on his plastic doll with that thing. What is it, this? Uh, it, it looks like a, a a box or a cylinder. It's that bedazzled. Has, that has like beadwork all over it and some stuff. He took a, a series, of, like this guy is of Instagram fame. He took a series of pictures of himself with this box in just his briefs. He's uncommonly hairy. Uh, I mean, can I just point that out? Eastern Europe, Betsy. Come on. He is unhairy for Eastern Europe. Okay, that's probably I, true. Uh, he, he, yes. They probably tease him about his lack of hair over there. <laughs> it's a whole thing. He's got a complex. We don't need to go Maybe into Maybe that's why he There's married. him and his, his lovely bride. Wow. Whom he didn't even care about because Our, he cheated well, on her with the plastic box. It was Christmas, Betsy. Christmas is a time of passion. It's time of giving and she was at the shop anyways she does not in that picture she does not look like a hostage not at all i'm just throwing that out there she huh. does not look this like is done of her own free will she does not look like she's blinking help me please <laughs> she does not blink twice if you're in trouble <laughs> yeah uh but yeah the wedding he's <laughs> <laughs> well we sent moon over the edge with that one so that's his. Is this, is this how he eats dinner normally? <laughs> that's how he eats normally. I don't know. <laughs> that's crazy. Moon had to step out for a second because uh, that was too much. But anyway, so so uh, Yuri um, Yuri had a yeah. He had an affair. Yuri. Just say cheated it. Cheated on his lovely bride. But anyways, so Moon will be back in. I think that that picture where she she, she breathed water. <laughs> she was trying to be a fish. Uh, that's the Aquarius coming out, folks. Yes. Aquarius. But I'm anyways, Aquaman. Aqua, aqua, aqua. Yes. <laughs> yes. You're all of it. Betsy could probably breathe water with all that. But anyways, thanks for joining us um, again. Go to our show notes, uh, Tooele Valley uh, Wellness and Community Center. Go on up there, give Moon a visit. Go to her Facebook page, um, sign up. If you need help finding her, come to us. We will point you in the right direction. Or you can just go to our page. She's one of our friends, one of our uh, hum and hominas. Jump on there, uh, schedule a time, get a great reading done. Get that uh, circly uh, horoscope thing done. You know, that's that's very interesting. She, it, it digs in. She, mm -hmm. she picks you apart pretty good. But, yes, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we will, we're actually. Uh, we're doing a special episode this week. It is a listener. Yes, we've got a listener coming in episode. on Friday. Um, we are doing a, uh, like a, a, a. Top 10 true crime. Top 10 true crime. So it might be some serial killers in there. Maybe Creepy some, stuff for sure. Maybe some fun, gory acts. You all right, Moon? <laughs> Come back in. Come back in. Say goodbye to everyone. Okay. <laughs> Let's hope her water. Yes. <laughs> well, she, she saw that picture of uh, of uh, Yuri's plate. Oh, for crying out loud. His, his platter. 
You're but anyways, he's got issues. Uh, and he's a pack. philandering cheater. Yeah, with a like a box, the bedazzled box. Anyway, so um yeah, so uh everyone, thanks for joining us. We will see you on Friday. Have a great week. Yes. Sorry. No, you're okay. You're okay. That's horrible. <laughs> that Yuri guy. So do you?